Hello, welcome to TSV Talks. My name is Oyin. Big up Oyin. Yeah, yeah, I'm your boy A. What's happening? Hi A. I'm Nay. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome. I feel like that was a very subdued welcome. In the world of YouTube celebrities, Jade Pierce and her partner have split for some time and it has been public knowledge. What we recently found out though was that Jade Pierce allegedly is now with her ex's best friend, who is also her baby daddy. And recently he's been throwing shade on social media and now the whole world is talking about it. Well, the whole of London anyway is talking yeah. about it. Should I say my side of the story? Because if I do, then all the people in our lives that were involved are going to come out and back me. Then it's just going to get long. Oh, big manipulator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why go so crazy? <laughs> Stop defending your butler, man. Tell him come out. Tell him come out. All the man don't want to see him. It's a joke because... She's talking about all the things. She's she's mentioning so many things to avoid the 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 main issues that have occurred. <laughs> ah, she's she's ah, uh, give her give her five stars. Do you know how tempted it is to want to explain the fuckeries? Let's go. What are your thoughts on? This whole new relationship vibe. I thought it was a lie at first. I thought it was just. I don't know. Well, I, I don't know. I see that. What's it? Is that Mike guy Snapchatting and and like posting doing the himself? Most. Nah, that's doing the most, man. So straight away, I'm on her side because he's coming out and he's saying X, Y, and Z. I'm just not like I don't know. I just don't feel that still from from a guy in in a relationship like. It's interesting that you're on her side because yeah, she's with her partner's ex-best friend. But apparently right. that's not his best friend though. Like yeah. they were close. Yeah. Mm. Anyway. How, <laughs> <laughs> How close is too close? Wow. Yeah, yeah, but life comes at you fast sometimes. True. Let's True. start there. And um, I think she was very, she kept quiet about respectful. the reasons for it. She was very respectful about everything. She didn't, she didn't comment on why they broke up or mm -hmm. the things that he wasn't, he was or wasn't doing for their child. But since he decided to be petty, she read him for filth. And someone was like, oh, she put a four page letter, but I feel like she expressed herself very well, very eloquently. And you know, life goes on. In her like explanation, she said something that really stuck out, like that really stuck with me. It's like, um, I'm not going to keep asking you to do the same thing over and over again because mm -hmm. honestly you heard me the first time yeah i'm not gonna mm. pull the fish for swimming was it yeah i was like yeah, yeah. yeah. she made what, her what, what was the analogy she's not gonna applaud a fish for swimming oh, yeah, yeah. She, it's what yeah, you're what supposed to, to do, do you're okay. supposed to be a father okay. so, so if yeah. you're not a father and the, you, you decide on tuesday you want to be a father you want everyone to clap for you because you look after your child but you're right yeah mm -hmm. and i mean the the issue what well, not so much of an issue but no one would have known or no one would have made a big deal out of it if he wasn't posting. Because it wasn't like she wasn't taking care of her child. Yeah. It wasn't about the child. You just wanted yeah, to so be Yeah, you wanted people to know that she was with somebody that you considered a friend. But to be fair, this is why everyone needs to sit up straight and act accordingly. Because your best friend could be your girlfriend's blessing. Yeah. You ain't lying. Wow. I, I said this before because wow. we had a conversation and it was like, would you date someone who your partner used to know? I was like, listen, anyone can be your partner, like anyone. There are certain boundaries in place, yeah. but that's well, down, down to, to you yeah. and your partner. And this is why you don't let anybody around yeah. your relationship listen, around your partner. Mm. Your boyfriend could be blocking your boyfriend could be your husband's, your husband's brother. <laughs> like it's it's mad. <laughs> like we live in a very wild age oh, and yeah. anything can happen. Yes. So, would, so you, um, would, would any of you right. lot get with your boyfriend's best friend? Not best friend. For me, Not that's a friend. step too far. Okay, well, what, about, a friend, what about friend? I would. Why wouldn't yeah. I? Listen, we're all exes yes. in the hands of exes. Listen, we're all someone's ex. All six degrees and we're of all separation. connected. You know, somehow, of course I would. <laughs> Why would I not? Because I'm, I was with your friend. I'm going to miss <laughs> yeah. a whole piece. Nah, no. <laughs> yeah. No, not too close to home. Not too close to home. Yeah. But... You might, you might have been the gateway for me to meet my soulmate, you know? 
Yeah. I'm joking. I can't. I'm joking. I can't. No, I can't joking. lie. I would. Unless, joking. like, uh, but, okay, if we flip the script though, and if it was, say, someone that had dated your sister, would you date the oh, person? Oh, God, no. Exactly. Not See, my sister. There's, there's, that's but, but then yeah. that's not that different though, exactly. because they're, how do you explain it? They're both kind of, they're both quite close. Yeah, no, they are close, but sisters are different. Okay, level. cousin? No, no. It's, I think when it becomes family, it's Yeah, a when bit, it's family, it's, it's like, yo, touchy. because that's... Uh, mm. uh, yeah, but, but in this day and age, everyone's talking like, well, blood doesn't make you family. Okay, Other well, in my, no, family. that's true. But saying? in my family, blood, the blood and family, family yeah. make you family. So that's so literally. Have you, have you lot got any friends that would borderline on being your family and you'd be that close? Yeah, those people. If they were in a proper relationship, relationship yeah. I don't think I would touch it. My no, thing no, is that no, they were no, just talking. Mm. I yeah. would speak to the person first. Like, yeah. how do you feel about? If how I felt do you like, feel about oh it? my gosh, this is this is important. If because yeah. there are some guys that you don't really need to stress. You. It's not worth the stress. They're going to end up breaking your heart. Two years down the line, line. So, so you don't need like to. you already know some situations are lost causes. So you yeah, just you don't need to. But if you feel like it's this might be something, mm. then you have the necessary conversations that you need to have. Right? Yeah, mm. it's when people are sly. I think that those are what causes rifts and dramas. Yeah. When people are yeah, trying when to be sly. People, yeah, when people are sly or people don't give their honest feelings mm. about it then yeah. it can get but you know. what's their situation now what's like jd jd's situation with her uh, new man now well Are jd's now good? Uh, yeah they're good they, yeah. they never they're had together. an issue they were fine before they were fine ex. they're minding their business yeah they're their minding their business oh, okay. so chef her new man who is allegedly called chef steph i don't know if that's his real yeah, name something like um, that. but they they apparently live to uh, allegedly live mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. and yeah just okay. carrying on with it's their lives. Good, yeah. yeah, and he still has his daughter twice a week, so everything's fine. Let's yeah. go over to the comment section. Nix mm. Monique says that at least her daughter already knows him. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. um, I will applaud a fish for swimming. I wrote her because unlike all social media influencers, she hasn't once put out, put out her business for likes or attention for clout. I've been following her for years. She definitely deserves all the best. That's true. Actually, mm. I don't think... Yeah. Not that I, not, I, I don't follow her that much, but I don't think I've come yeah, across scandal yeah, not, from her i'm yeah. not familiar with her but this is like the first i'm hearing of her yeah mm. kind of um yeah. all things eve says i remember when they used to take cute couple pics and when they announced they were having a baby all you people that were shouting goals don't come and chat shit now this is why you don't call everyone goals from pictures because you never know how messy things could get in the future but mm. you people that idolize other people's relationships never learn. That's a very valid point. Yeah, that's, that's a very that, valid that's point. Very valid. This is the thing. You can never say anyone's goals because they're, they're fighting battles that you don't know. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, you can admire from... I think that you can give people a level of admiration and respect, but you should never, like, use that as the benchmark for mm. what you think your life should be like. Yeah. Because really and truly... Instagram or the things that you see on social media is just a snapshot. And to be fair, no one's entitled to share their personal journeys and heartbreaks with you. Yeah. And the it's, it's a you highlight can't. reel. Yeah, yeah, it's a highlight reel. Um, so you can't take a, see a picture as goals. You can say the picture is goals. I want to take a picture like that. That I concur with. Like, yeah, that picture is nice. Oh, what angle did you use? But, like, <laughs> so what angle did you use? Like, you know, something like that. But to say that someone is relationship goals, unless they're giving you, like, maybe they're, um, let's say they were shooting a YouTube video and they're giving you advice about, okay, the things that they do to ensure that they have great communication. You can take tidbits of that, yeah. those kind of lessons and yeah. apply it to your life. Yeah. But to just see a picture and go off of there and just be like, yeah, yeah. this is what I mm. want my... Mm -mm. No. That's true. I was about yeah. to say that as well because um, no relationship is perfect. No. So you can get, you can get, you can learn from you can learn. different you can situations. Learn. Yeah. But there's not one couple that I've seen that I'm going to be like, oh, I want my relationship to be like that. No, 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 but no, if no. you do get all the good bits, yeah. you, you can yeah, you get that's better. That's the thing. You, yeah. you, take, you take the things that, you know, that you feel like they're doing right. It's okay, not, I want to yeah. be able to communicate like that. I want us to have the kind of balance that they seem to have. I yeah. Would, the kind of freedom that they give each other, that's the kind of thing that I would want for myself. Mm. Yeah. Those, that, those are the things that I think that we should 
take from other people's experiences and relationships. Yeah, not idolize yeah. them. No, too no, much. because don't take, because don't they keep too much because, from it because no, you yeah, can change, just a, just a bit, yeah, but um, mm. not see pictures and be like, yeah, this is this is the end all and be all because it's really not. Do you think we're too invested as a generation? We're too invested in other people's relationships. Um, yeah, definitely. I, I think, think I think well, a lot think of about people that are. girl said she's been following Janie for years. Yeah. So she must have seen a journey with that particular girl. But that's girl. because yeah. they, they put it See out, I mean? so you become invested. But, yeah. But apart from Janie, just when other you, people's when you relationships. you someone, you make that decision Jin. to to watch that journey, yeah. regardless yeah. of what it is. Oh, that's regardless your of what it is. So I don't think that we are. I don't know that I don't know that being invested is the right I feel like we're all invested to some degree because there's people that we like and we kind of watch a couple of things that they do and there's mm. people who watch religiously I kind of know people who watch Patricia Bright from the very beginning mm-hmm. so they're very invested in yeah. her journey and the things that are happening for her and then there's people who come along along the way or who just maybe watch a video here here and there so mm. I think there's varying levels of interest based on how you connect with the person. Mm -hmm. I think when the comments start getting a bit personal from people, like when the comments start getting a bit judgmental, like, oh, she's fake, she didn't let me know, she didn't let us know that this, (laughs) you know when they say they'll be like, yeah, she didn't do this on her YouTube channel, she was pretending. Well, she has the right to, whoever it is has the right to curate their life the way they see fit because it's their platform and the story that they want to share with the world. But when people feel like they can dictate or make a judgment yeah. on how someone else is living their life, I think that's taken it a bit too yeah. far. Especially when it's not real life. Yeah. People have to remember that she's on YouTube. So even if she films two, two videos, videos a day, a day yeah. you only get maybe an hour yeah, that's, out, yeah, of, that's it, an out hour. of 24 hours. Yeah, you this, still don't know everything that's yeah, going on. You don't so, know yeah. what she does. Yeah, she might tell you like, oh, this is my daily routine. But that daily routine changes depending on the things that are happening. Yeah. So you can't you can't use that as a hold on to that piece of information and mm. be like, yeah, this is everything and she didn't stick to what she said. She was <laughs> there, I'm angry and yeah, yeah. yeah but I yeah, I get that. So on to the next topic of the day. Uh, so, you know, the comments went off on this one. Uh, Georgia Steele from Love Island was robbed by her Ooh. new boyfriend. Uh, what, what was his name? I don't know, but life comes at you fast. fast. Yeah. Well, <laughs> very that's all it I had to throw it. I said, wow, it was life mad. comes at you fast. So, hold on. So he just come out of prison <laughs> for impersonating a Chelsea footballer. Yeah. And he, he was in prison for about four years or something like yeah. that. Yeah. He's come out now. And how has he managed how to she pattern? find him? How have, they, how have their paths crossed? No, the thing, right, she didn't find him. He found her. Yeah. yeah. Like... You, you see people like that, they know she was a mark. Mm. And then... Uh, wow. a, a whole relationship, you a know. Whole, like, so I'm guessing they got into the relationship pretty quickly. And then, you know, he released a statement. When it he came released out... released a statement? No, basically, when it came out that he, he was a fraudulent bae. Mm. Fraudulent. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He released a statement saying, you know, he's on the right... I think he released a statement saying he's on the right path and, you know, he's just trying to start his life over and they're, you know... Did he acknowledge the money? Yeah, that he's made mistakes in his past, but he's trying to do the right thing. Mm. And then... it No, but it wasn't even up to two weeks. I feel like it it was a space of five days since we found out. He finessed her for, like... Tens of thousands of pounds. How, of I don't understand account. how did what he he hacked a bank account. Like, I don't understand how someone could wipe your bag like your old. Listen, listen. Your if, if you leave your if you leave your bag around and a guy grabs your card, all they need is the long the long number. Digits, expiry day and, and your thingy, address. Oh, I need and, to be careful because I'm the, very careless. The my back, card. and the free back digits on the back, the security. That's all he needed. To, to so finesse the it. entire. Well, I don't know is... about the entire, but he could have used it to. So you know the picture of her crying. Was that the actual? Because I'm like, who found this picture where she was crying? Because she looked, she was like this. I was like, who took oh, this picture? No, but yeah, come on. <laughs> I reckon we it's all... one of her friends or yeah, something. Yeah, we, we, we all know about photo ops now. Like that's what that was. Like oh, she's dev- like really and truly. If you're no one's gonna catch you crying on the front stoop of somewhere. You'll be in your house, yeah. like hiding mm. your face. But obviously, you need that money shot for Heat magazine so that you can get the front page. 
and then store it exclusive and then get reimbursed back for the money that he took. <sighs> Clutch it's history. really unfortunate. Every time I hear oh stuff like this, I'm just like, again? And it's like, Love Island is coming back soon. Yeah. So a part of yeah, me is exactly. like, is this yeah, something? Is this there a probably setup? another story. But what, yeah. do, you, what, do you not think it was her fault that she got finessed? Of course not. It's not her fault. The, you can't, you can't, not that you, you can't, can't control, you, can't you can be actually careful. Yeah, yeah, but you don't expect someone who you care about to finesse you yeah. into everything that you own. You never expect stuff like that. No, I get that. that. But at the same so, time, his history, he has a track record. But then he said he was trying to do ch- better. Yeah. But he, and he that's said, the thing. He said so, he had to change his name. After he came out of prison, he was like, oh, I have to change my name because of X, Y, and Z. And like, he and made up some excuses. She was thinking, hang on, what, your name's this, but you've changed it to that. Shouldn't that have given some warning Maybe signs, she did. Because like. you know sometimes, as they say, love is blind and then they have blind, but maybe she just didn't look that deeply. Because if he just got out of prison and they were now in a relationship, it means it happened Yeah, no, I, I feel like so. everything happened over a span of, like, two days. No, I can't. <laughs> I'm, I'm exaggerating, but it was a very fast-moving... Situation. ...happenings or yeah. series of events. And, mm. um, yeah... Poor girl. I hope Boy. she, you know, yeah. she gets all her points back because it's one thing to work for your hard earned mon- money for some a quonker person to, to come, just come and, take and try it. and take it. What kind of nonsense is that? Yeah. I know, I think, and we've been here before. We've covered the fraud bay situation. Oh, yeah. that, that. Do you know, but that was different because she gave him a di- actually she gave him a card and he said she knew because Susie Mills yeah, yeah. did an interview with him mm-hmm, recently mm-hmm. and he said yeah, yeah. she knew everything that was happening. I don't know how, how true it is, but literally, no, just but be what careful girl, No, but details. what girl will give you her own cash monies for you to take another, another girl, girl right? and buy and pay your council tax and um, buy her flowers? And Do then, you know what? I reckon everything else would have been fine up until the fact that you're taking another girl on holiday. No, if you had, no but... It, Someone who offered to pay, she gave him a card to do so he can do big man and pay for dinner and all of yeah. that stuff. I reckon if, they were, if it was actually serious and he was genuine, yeah, because most girls pay, they fin- they literally finance a guy's lifestyle. She, it maybe wouldn't have been such a big issue. It's the fact that, that he was disrespectful, yeah, maybe, with yeah. other girls, and yeah, she was like, I've like, had enough. enough. Like, so I think she BS. knew in the beginning that he was using her he card was, for stuff and she was okay, okay, okay with, with it. it. And until, then he went too far with it. You went too far. You're taking somebody else on holiday. Mm. Wow, Ooh, the audacity. So what is this? Is this Do a you new know trend? what, is this right? A new trend for guys. Wait, 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 wait. My friend posted this thing on IG stories today. So basically, um, it's this uh, meme and th- it's an I message, and the girl says, "So what's up? You're still g- you're gonna keep seeing that girl?" And he replied saying, um, "You're broke." I'm broke, you're the best I've ever had, but this, this girl doesn't have anything like you, but she's papered up. And the girl responded saying, so what are you trying to say? And he was like, the guy replied saying, we need her. <laughs> wow. Wait, what? So he's finessing the other girls for his yes, girlfriend? Uh, yeah, for both of them, because the, yeah. his girlfriend was like, what, so um, you're going to keep seeing this girl? This, this and the guy's like, you're broke and I'm broke, you're smart, but we um, don't have money, we need her. A job, so, so what, is this, is this the new way for I don't think man? it's new. It's a new, I don't think it's a new, it's new. Think We're just it. talking about over, it now. Over the years, yeah, girls have been not used to, I wouldn't say used to finessing, but it's come naturally to be with a guy that's rich and, you, and yeah. you know, they take care of you. You can call it finessing or you can say, oh, you're taking care and my man's looking after me, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Have we seen a new way where oh, man, guys are now, now talking, hang on, she's rich, she's up. I'm gonna finesse her. I, I mean, I think it happened before in like the it, sugar mummy era. So yeah. it just happened with slightly older women. But yeah, now it that happens, girls yeah, are making, making their money, money and girls are getting yeah, bad, so it's some like, guys are like yeah, it's okay. balancing out. Yeah. So you don't have to get an older woman. You just go. It's listen. Yeah, it's just, mad. Yeah, just find. Uh, so young, what do people have to do? Mate. Like, can we see each other's statements before we start dating, so we know listen. that you can afford your lifestyle <laughs> yeah, yeah. before you come in? Take my Basically, money. Yeah. No, but I feel do? like no, but I feel like guys they kind of they watch the kind of life that you live and vice versa. To be honest, they're mm. like, oh, okay, this girl does this certain thing. She goes here. She does this. Mm, mm. Maybe she's a because to be fair, not guys. I don't know. Guys don't also want to go out with Someone liabilities. Someone who's broke, yeah, that's going to drain yeah. them with, as well uh, with liabilities. And even if they're going to spend all their cash on you, the fact that you have your own and you're living a lifestyle. They're not 
They don't have to buy yeah, they're not show, No, you can, basically, yeah. they're not showing you the lifestyle. You're already used to it. Yeah. Mm. So that, that's a different thing because it's one thing to show a girl a different, a different life and then it's mm. another thing to meet somebody who lives that life already and just it's, it's just a continu- yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. a continuation of that kind of yeah. thing. Oh. So yeah, boy, let's see what some of our residents think mm-hmm. uh, on the Georgia Steel from Love Island getting finesse situation. We've got Aisha Bosa underscore 1991. Uh, he's not loyal, babe. Um, and she's got some laughing emojis uh, after. I just, you know, it's funny because that's that. what she used to shout all the time at Love oh, Island. Wow. Yeah. yeah, like, she, I'm wow. loyal, I'm loyal, I'm so, loyal. Wow, she, life really, he, life she's really got her with that one. Fast. Yo. She says, uh, this is what you lot get for messing with fraud bays instead of, uh, of them proper on the grind, moral having men. But she wasn't to know that. So I'm sorry, Aisha. She might have thought he was on the grand right. having moral kind of man, but because you, you don't know you've got a fraud babe until so you until know you, you get, get fraud until you, uh, you yeah. get defrauded. Yeah. Then nah. you know it's like, oh, okay. So not everyone, I think people think that fraud has a face. No, it doesn't. It, it does. Be, that's that's yeah. what it is. Fraud, that is fraud. Yeah. You don't Anyone know what it is. So just so let, basically listen, protect just yourself. Just pray in it. Pray yeah. with discernment. And then we've got uh, Vivi Moi. Go, uh, goes to show she only got with him because she thought he was a football player. So, is... is Possibly. Maybe, I can't maybe. speak on that, but we know that Georgia has a type. Yeah. She has a type. She likes guys of the melan- melanated persuasion. She's, she's, <laughs> she leans in that direction. Yeah. So, we know she has a type and she mm. likes sporty, athletic guys, yeah, so yeah. I won't be surprised, but that's not a bad thing to have a preference. You can have we a all have you preferences. Have we a all have preferences. I like so, tall people. So we all do. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so you know, I think, it's I unfortunate think, in this situation. Yeah, you're never going to know you've got a fraud bay until you've got a fraud bay, but I just say, just girls, if you're up and you're about your money, then just be hide careful. your bank just card. Be careful, yeah. Hide your keys, Leave hide your, bank your bag, cards hide home. your card. Leave Hi, your <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to another episode of TSV Talks. My name is Oyen, aka Miss Wags. Yeah, I'm your boy A. And I'm Naya. See you next time. Peace out. <laughs>